Next up, we got Shan. He's gonna bless the stage for us. Let's all give it up for Shan. I was like, you know, I want to be honest. I want to be really honest with everybody and, like, really, like, speak my mind. I thought that was really, really important. And I was. Like, I was on stage. I was honest. And I finished. I noticed I was, like, perspiring. Like, I can't even say the word. Like, I was sweating from my armpits. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. And then this guy, like, came, um, came over after my stage. He's like, you know, that was really good. Like, you did a really good job. And I felt good about that. Right? I was like, yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah. And then I went home and I showed my family. And like, yeah, that's nice. It's like, whatever, it's kind of suck. So fuck my parents, what the fuck? It's like, oh my god. Family sucks. That's, oh, bad support. They don't get it. They don't care. They don't understand. Like, they wouldn't, they would be the same thing. I could be sucking dicks. I could be a fluffer for a porn company. They'd be like, yeah, whatever, it's okay. I'm okay. It's important to me. I like to suck those dicks. That's my, oh, that's my job, right? It's like, <laughs> I like your glasses. Very nice. What else is happening? Yeah, glasses. Hers are better, but <laughs> doesn't matter, right? And like your lipstick. Hers are better. Better lipstick. But she's more experienced, older lady, right? You've probably been on the block. Have you have you slept with a guy like me before, right? Maybe? Not recently. Not recently, but oh so forgotten <laughs> <laughs> some okay. You kinda of look like my uh, my mom. And uh, <laughs> she's been through menopause, have you? Been through menopause number eight up there in that chamber? Right? Yeah, obviously, yes, because you're, you're not responding. It's okay, it's, that's good, because now you can have sex with guys like me, young studs, and no condom. I heard a lot of old people are fucking these days. This is disease control, there's like disease issues. And like, you know, there's, there's a lot of old sex going on, and they're not, you know, they're not thinking about the whole STD thing, and they're dying, and it's sad. And that's just, I'm just putting it out there. I'm safe. Yeah. I'm safe. Thanks for warning me. You, you know more than this than I do. I'm sorry. I apologize. What can I say? And I'm going to go to my joke set now. So, joke one. That's, that's what we do. Stick to it. Um, what is my joke set, by the way? I quit, I quit pot this year, so it's like my memory is slowly getting back. Yeah, no, no, nice. Right. I'm totally going to rock it before 20, trust me. That's <laughs> no way. No way this guy's staying clean. Crack, man. Bring it in. Let's do this. I'm not getting late. It's been like a year for me, so I don't care. I don't care. Girls don't want me. They, I mean, I'm sure girls want me, but I'm way too honest. Like, I see a girl, I'm like, hey, let's do that pussy! And she's like, what the fuck? It's just not going to work. It's too dirty. It's too dirty. Girls don't want that, right? Girls want, hey, what's up? I'm like, hey, what's up? I can't do that. That's just actually, actually, I just did that. It's pretty simple. <laughs> I can do that. I can't. I can't. Because I'm unique. I'm very unique. Right? I got the afro, I got the beard, I got the stupid voice, I got this nose, I got these stupid clothes. They're kind of nice. But it's a unique look, and unique unique is never good, right? U unique is like, it's like a mixed review for a restaurant, you know? You kind of trust it, but you don't want to go back to the restaurant. It's like a five-star review. I want to be McDonald's. A billion served. A value menu? Girls love value menu. Yeah, it's like, bam, right there. And you get the drive through. You don't get the drive through at a fancy restaurant that you don't like. That's what I want. That's my goal. That's my goal. So, um, did you know that uh, when girls live together, their periods sync up? All girls know this. This is good. You know this. You're like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Right? right? Is that the. <laughs> his period synced up too? Are you. <laughs> No comment. Well, did you know that when uh, guys live together, their beards sink up? I know. I didn't even know I could grow a beard. I thought I was like a little kid this whole time, but it's true. 
this is my roommate, and look at this, he got beards. So I'm not, I don't, I'm only tell the truth. And uh, I accept, no, I have, a, we have an Asian roommate, and uh, he's just bald. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, I don't know, I guess Asian guys just came for a beard or anything. I don't know what that's all about. It's cool. You know, it's like a super safe thing, right? <laughs> he's not my bros. It's like serious all the time, I guess. Very intimidating. Ah, I'm trying to remember jokes. When well, I do this with my eyes, when I'm thinking, I'm going crazy. It's very quiet. Very quiet in here. It's very cold. I feel very cold and afraid of right now on stage. Thank you for looking at me for a second. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I feel better already. I got over a cold. I almost died. I, just, I, didn't, I was going to die, but I, I, I couldn't. If I didn't take care of myself. And that's important to know. I'm, I'm sharing this with you guys. David. I could have died last week, and you're not even looking at me. Motherfucker! <laughs> People are so selfish. Although, I, I have to be honest, I was in Philadelphia a couple, uh, a little while ago, who cares, I'm lying. But when I was in Philadelphia, this old lady came up to me, and she's like, I'm dying, I'm sick. And I didn't know this lady, she was just like on the block from my grandma's house. And I was like, oh my god, I feel bad, I'm sorry. And uh, she's like, can I have your pity? Like, oh, fuck you, bitch. Like, fucking homeless people, motherfuckers. Who cares, right? Right? Just kick them. No? <laughs> you guys don't really care about homeless people. Come on. No one cares about homeless people. Thursday, I do. Thursday? Is that sex day? Yesterday was sex day. Oh, you know, today, this, today, this month is Black History Month. Yeah. You know what that means for the rest of the year, right? Racism. <laughs> to be honest, come on. We can care about black people now, you and me. Half fish, half fish. We can half care. But no one's gonna care about us here. You're not gonna care. You're so white, you care about fucking white shit. <laughs> it's a color, who cares? Underneath all this roll is sick. But on the outside I just hold it. There it is. Come out. <laughs> on the stand. There there it is. I don't think it matters that much. I mean like I did have sex with this girl, right? I, I clarify that, because I go to San Francisco a lot, and if you go to San Francisco a lot, like, you know, people are like, whoa, what's up there? You know, gay people, so it's not all the time. Not all the time. And lesbians, you know, it's not like, maybe I'm going there for lesbians, and they like guys that are into that. <laughs> you, you look really stressed, and you're, you're sitting kind of like, getting warm up. I can cough on you, or your vagina. <laughs> Cleanish. Um, I guess I got over the cold, so I cough on your vagina, and you get like something. Like a present. Nothing <laughs> 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 bad, nothing bad. Um, I should go back to my, my set list. So, uh, my friend, I, I think my friend thinks I'm a rapist. Not that I rape people, um, just that I have a very intense stare. It's very intense. I look at people, and it's, I'm not doing it to you, personally, because that's, this is like normal. This is like normal rape. It's not like maximum rape. But when I like, I see like someone I really want to talk to, especially a girl, like, I just, I just like, I just like. <laughs> yeah, see? She's, oh, she got it. It's intense. It's a good, it's a good fucking stare, but just not all the time. As you can imagine, so it's been a while since I've been like a year, right? As I said. But uh, actually, I don't really care that much about sex. I, I have masturbated a lot and frequently. These hands, where have they been? Down here. And <laughs> so I, I tell us a lot, like, I, I masturbate like 15 times a day. And I'm proud of that. I really am proud of that. Because that's a lot of fluids coming out of my body. I mean, after a while, it's only an IOU coming. <laughs> Actually, someone told me not to do that. Like when I do a joke, like I shouldn't like say yes, no, maybe. Just like write that shit out. When you say it, just fucking let them hit that shit, and then a little bit. Don't no, just look. Don't look away. Just look. It's okay. I can take it. So uh, let's see. What was it? Oh, masturbating. So, anyways, I was in my room masturbating, right? You know. Actually, I saw a guy do this to demonstrate masturbation. I prefer this. It's cooler. Because, <laughs> you know, you're breathing. I don't know. When girls masturbate, it's more like... I don't know if I did that face. 
you know, you know right? Oh, fuck yeah! I'm like, but, uh, <laughs> my, uh, this is my, this is my finisher, let's see if this will actually work, because I explain the joke. Actually, I, I wanted to end my punchline for this joke, or all my jokes, um, with Silverback Gorilla, but I just, I haven't written a joke for that yet, and I don't know where that's going to go. I really want, I really want to do that. I want to have like a joke and be like, ta-da, Silverback Gorilla, and everyone's like laughing, and they're dying, like, oh my gosh, it's so funny. I don't know what to do with that. Like, I rape like a silverback gorilla? I'm a rapist. No, I, st I stare like a silverback gorilla. I'm waiting. There she goes. Yeah. That's not, it's not a rape stare. So I'm not going to finish my joke, except I am, because when I was masturbating this one time, I couldn't finish because my roommates were having sex. And that's very distracting. So I went on over to their door, you know, knocked on it, and I was like, hey, mom, dad. Can you keep it down, please? I'm trying to focus here. I'm trying to ruin my life. All right, thank you guys. <laughs>